Hey everyone, welcome back to the basement. And I got a 3D printer. And one of the things I found about 3D printing is sometimes you want a filament dryer. And this Sunlu S4 filament dryer works out perfectly for the products that I'm using, which are mainly PLA and PETG. Let's take a bit of a closer look. So to work this dryer, it's actually very simple. You turn a switch on on the back and then there's a button right here on the touch screen and you turn this on. Now, you have a couple of settings right here where it tells you the temperature, the humidity, and then the product in there. And you can hit the set button to go through the items until you get to the right here where it's flashing. This says PLA. You can go through it and put in PC, PA, ABS, TPU, PETG, and PLA again. It's pre-programmed for all the settings you need. Once you have it on there, you just let it run and it's ready to go for you. Now, as far as noise goes here, let me bring my mic a little bit closer to this. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's got about a white noise hum. Not very loud, but it's definitely detectable. As far as capacity goes, this holds four filaments. All you have to do is open up the lid and then you can put two filament rolls on each side. So you take your filament roll and drop it in there and then you close your lid and make sure to lock it down. The one thing I want to warn you about is you don't really want to mix filament rolls because you can't do the two sides separately. So it's all for the same filament roll. Now up top, there are a couple warning labels that do say hot and it's there for a reason. This does get pretty warm when you have this on. But what you want to know is would I recommend this or would I buy it again? Yeah, I would recommend this. This was a nice addition to my printer that I got and it works perfectly for the product that I'm going to use, which is basically PETG and PLA. I like the capacity of it. It is four rolls and I like the fact that it is preset so so there's very little thought that I have to put behind this. It just does it for me. Again, there is a little bit of white noise to this. So I do keep this in my basement area where the white noise isn't going to bother anybody. But at the end of the day, this is a great way to make sure your filament is ready and prepped for great quality prints. So as always, I hope these short reviews help with your purchasing decision. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your shopping day.